Hey guys, it's iAppleTech, and today I'm going to show you how to create your own custom Zeppelin logo for the City Tweak Zeppelin and upload them to your Apple device. So you can see here, I have created the colorful Apple logo in the top left hand corner of your screen, and I've uploaded to Zeppelin. You can see here, right there is the colorful logo. And I also created an iApple Tech logo right there. So let me bring you over to the computer and show you what to do. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to go ahead and open up your SSH program. I'm using CyberDuck. Or if you have a similar program, you can go ahead and do that. And you want to go ahead and SSH into your device. Make sure uh, you do have it as SFTP. Your IP for your device, username is root, and password is Alpine and go ahead and go into your device and make sure your device is turned on then you want to go back to the slash and go ahead under library and there you should see Zeppelin now this is where all of your logo packs are stored so you can see here we have Beats, uh, the Nun, Pac-Man and if you go ahead and open one of those up you can kind of see the layout for it here we have our black and our black at 2x. The 2x is for the retina display, so for the iPhone 4 and the 4s. And the non 2x will be for the original iPhone and the um, and the iPhone 3G and 3GS. So if you're just uploading for an iPhone 4 or something, you can just go ahead and make the 2x. So there's three types of um, pictures you'll have to create. One will be the black, one will be the etched, and the other one will be the silver. If you want to go ahead, you can always make the silver uh, 2x, the alt 1, but that's really unnecessary. So then, go ahead and open up your program. I'm using Photoshop here. And you can see I have created a nice, simple, colorful logo of the Apple logo here. You can go ahead and create your own. Uh, the template the size I recommend 40 by 40 but you can have up to 50 as the height and the width as whatever you want it to be but 40 by 40 is a good uh, dimensions so then you want to go ahead and file and you want to save for web and devices and then go ahead and click save and you want to go ahead and create a folder now I've already created a folder right there I've named it colorful apple and in the colorful apple you want to save this as black at 2x, etched at 2x, and silver at 2x if you have a retina display device or just get rid of the at 2x for a non retina um, device. So once you save that three times as those names you want to go ahead and, and then into our into where we have saved it. So I've saved it right here as colorful apple then you want to open up your SSH program. I'm using CyberDuck. And make sure you're in that directory right here. And go ahead and copy the Colorful Apple folder, the entire folder that has all of those pictures, into Zeppelin. And just go ahead and Zeppelin just like that. So once it's showing me that I've already overwrite it, so I'm just going to go ahead and overwrite it. Click OK. And then we want to go ahead and onto our device. So on your device, you want to respring so the effects do take in consideration. Let's go ahead and respring your device. Spring device. All right. So my device is going to respring. That was my assistant, if you are wondering. It's a Siri plugin. as you have custom commands. So then go ahead and slide to unlock your phone. Go into your settings. And then scroll down to the tweak Zeppelin right there. And go ahead and turn it on. And you should see the theme or picture that you have just created right there, the colorful apple. So if you are on the normal lock screen you will notice that it's fade that is the black then the if you go into settings you'll notice that it it does come up more vivid that would be the um the silver i am assuming the etched i'm not really sure but you must have both all three of these pictures for the logo to work on your device 
So if you guys do like this video, don't forget to give it a like up. Leave your comments in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to stay updated. Thanks, guys.